Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 2 of the video subseries C Ash Application Tracing. In the previous video, we learned about the basics of application tracing. Now we will see what example we are going to create in the next few parts of these subseries. So here you will enter a number less than 36,000 approximately and once you click the get prime sum uh, it will calculate all the prime numbers and the prime numbers are displayed here in this um, uh, multi-line text box then you will also get the prime sum printed here. So in this video we are not going to concentrate much on how this get prime sum works but we will concentrate on how we can write trace messages and how the components of Cash uh, tracing framework works together like uh, trace source, trace switch and listener function also the uh, trace message types. So the example what we create contains two toggle buttons so you can consider this as a check boxes so once you click here if you see here uh, this is toggled on this is toggled off that means our application will send the trace information to a file log so if you turn this on then application will send information to both file log as well as event log and even though these two is not turned on the uh, trace message will still reach to the uh, debug window because that's the default all right here you will see different kind of listeners so this one uh, belongs to the uh, text file listener and this one belongs to the windows event log listener so the C Sharp provides a separate implementation class for these two. We will uh, see how we can use the uh, uh, implementation, listener implementation of the C Sharp framework for the application logging. And the purpose of these two radio button is to experiment and understand how we can perform the uh, filtering information. Say for example, our code may log a variety of messages. Let us say here we are logging error and here also we are logging an error. Then let's also consider that here we are just logging some debug information messages. So if error message is turned on, the message will, I mean only the error message will get delivered to the uh, destination. So the destination can be a file log or it can be a windows event logger or it can be a uh, output window. So since here in this screenshot if you see since we turned on the file log uh, let's say this is the file log. The file log will contain only the error information. But when you turn on the information message, we will get both. So in the previous video, we talk about, talked about the hierarchy, right? Critical messages are in the top, then error messages. After that, uh, warning, information, likewise the uh, event types are organized. So if we set a lower level, that means information, all the upper level address messages are logged. That means the moment we change this error to information, all these get logged to the output, listener output. So here in this screenshot, the listener output is file log. That means along with the uh, error message, 
the information messages also get logged so that's all we will see here in this example and this one is to study different listener type and these two are to study the uh, source level filter all right talk about the form design also so it's demo time let's uh, look at the uh, example so this is the example and you can download it from the uh, video description and if you see this is uh, nothing but uh, calculating the prime number sum so i'm not uh, going through this example as uh, it's uh, some uh, simple uh, logic we already used this uh, when we are uh, learning about the debug windows and if you see here and when i say get prime sum first it will list all the prime numbers then it will print the summation of this okay here is our uh, form design so we took our uh, previous example which calculated the prime sum and we added two check boxes one label then two read a buttons so the label if you see we put filter colon default uh, label name we accepted it then this one is actually a check box so you can drop a check box and name it as chk log file trace and if you see the appearance we kept it as a button so instead of uh, uh, normal appearance we kept it as a button appearance so now it will act as a toggle button and the second one is a chk event log once again we set its appearance also button and the text we kept it as event log and this one is a text is a file log so use visual style back color so this also you make sure to set it to true then we have two radio button and the radio button name is red error auto size is true and remaining stuffs are not important text is error and for this one the text is information and name is rad info here also we set visual style back color to true all right that's all here let us look at these two check boxes how the toggle button will work so here we are not using the appearance as normal here we are using appearance as button so that's how it this is how it will behave see now this is turned on turned off turned on and turned off all right uh, that's all here okay that's all here in this uh, demo from the next video onwards we will start implementing the um, tracing stuff thank you for watching bye